anything, we'll get a wireless mic to you. Uh, and again, please let us know who you're directing the question to. Okay, right here. We'll start right here. In the, yep. Okay, this right is here. for Gus Miles on the offensive coordinator at Auburn. Uh, just kind of walk us through what your days have been like here. Just kind of how much time you spent on Arkansas State, how much time you spent on Auburn. Well, uh, the good thing is we had the game plan in before we, we made the trip here. Uh, so the base plan was in. It has been extremely busy. You know, I've been focusing on Auburn in the mornings as far as getting ready for practice and practice, coming back after practice and grading it. And uh, in the evenings, kind of been thinking about, uh, you know, Arkansas State as far as hiring the staff, as far as recruiting. Uh, but it's been busy, but it's a very exciting time for me. Okay, next question right here in the middle. Yeah, this is for Gus, too. Uh, as far as uh, Arkansas State, have you got much of your staff lined up yet? And uh, how's that been going in general? Well, I'm tr trying to be patient, get the right fit. Uh, we hired uh, an office coordinator, and we're in the process of hiring some more. And probably in the next week, uh, you know, we'll, we'll be close to filling. Okay, let's go back here in the back right here now. Guys, when you were in Tulsa, you can't you coach the bowl game in Tulsa, then you came to Auburn. Right. How busy is it now that you're going to be a head coach to, to kind of <clears throat> change, change, transition into, into doing that? How sure. you said you're pretty busy all day. Yeah. How much do you sleep? Uh, not not much, but but the good thing is uh, I do have experience doing this before uh, because when I was first hired here at Auburn, uh, like you said, we did play in the. the the bowl game in Mobile, and I had the same formula right here. As a matter of fact, me and Coach Chizik, we actually interviewed coaches in the evening and in the afternoons. I actually recruited for Auburn in the mornings and uh, you know, during practice, just focused on Tulsa. So it's good that I've had that experience before, and it worked extremely well in that bowl, and I'm hoping to do the same thing here. Right here, right front, we'll go back there. Another one for you guys. I mean, the sense this is your last game in Auburn, are you going to kind of go for broke, I guess, with, with maybe the way you call the game and the way you guys attack the Virginia? Well, I'll tell you this. I mean, it's been a great experience for me. Uh, coaching here at Auburn has been a true blessing for me. Uh, and definitely we want to go out on a high note. And, uh, and it could be more aggressive. Um, you know, as far as play calling goes, I'm really excited. Really want to give these guys the best chance of uh, – of winning, and uh, you know it's been a true blessing for me to co coach the Emory Blakes and uh, Les Encourages, the guys with the first class that we recruited. So uh, I'm really going to try to do my best job to help these guys be successful. Okay, back here in the back. Maybe the last one on this topic for Gus and for Emory as well. Uh, Gus, how much do you soak up this last week you get with these players that you've been around for the last few years? And, and Emory as a player, how much do you soak up enjoying uh, your offensive coordinator for one more week? Yeah, uh, you know, I'm just trying to take it in, you know, I'm extremely close to our coaches and our players and I'm trying not to get too emotional, you know, I'll wait till the very end to do that, but I'm really trying to just savor the moment. Like I said earlier, it's been such a blessing for me to be a part of the Auburn family and, uh, you know, it'll just be one of those great memories I'll have for a long time. And this game right here, we'd like to end it on a positive note, so it'll be really one of those special experiences. Cameron? Um, definitely going to miss Coach Malzahn. You know, he recruited me, and uh, I mean, really, he told me everything we would do, and we accomplished that. I mean, he told me a lot of people know who I am, and we won a national championship, and everything he promised me, we accomplished. So, um, I'm very proud to be coached by him, and definitely going to miss him. Okay, we'll go right here in front. Gus, this is really the only sport, college football, where you have this kind of situation, straddling, you know, two different jobs and, and having been through it already and now going through the second time. Is there is there a better way to do it? Um, and, and is there any awkwardness, you know, as you try to get back into Auburn? Um, I guess it's two different issues, but if you would have, wouldn't mind addressing both of those. Yeah, well, the first thing I always think about is what's best for the players. It's not about coaches. It's what's best for the players. And, you know, I was just thankful that Coach Chizik gave me the opportunity to finish this thing right and uh, to coach these guys throughout the, the bowl season. And I was thankful that Arkansas State gave me the opportunity uh, to do both. It is a very challenging thing to do, but I think you always got to think about what is best for the kids and what is best for the players. Is there, is there a way to, is there a better way to do it? Uh, college football is an interesting profession. You know, I'm a high school football coach, and you know, I've been doing this for six years, but that is the, the – uh, thing that's unfortunate probably about this business is there are a lot of coaches that move on and, and uh, a lot of players that don't have coaches that were with them throughout the year so that's a tough deal but uh, like I said earlier I'm just thankful I can finish this thing uh, with, with the team that I started this year. All right, Coach Thickpin is begging for a question down there. We got <laughs> yeah. 